Welcome to the 2023 Department of the Air Force Design Awards. The Design Awards program was established several decades ago to recognize and promote design excellence. Over its history, it has become an important program that is institutionalized within the Air Force. Much more than simply an awards competition, the winning projects establish the benchmark of design excellence that is expected for all Air and Space Force facilities and installations. The Air Force Design Awards Program maintains alignment with the Air Force Corporate Facilities Standards Program, which reinforces the design and construction of resilient as well as sustainable installations and buildings throughout the Air Force and Space Force. This enterprise-wide program recognizes facilities that demonstrate superior design, increased efficiency, and optimized performance. Let's take a look at this year's award-winning projects. The first award is a Merit Award in the Facilities Renovations or Additions category. It is for the Red Flag Building 201 5th Generation Edition located at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. The project was designed by the WJA Design Collaborative. The 42,400 square foot addition to Building 201 is designed to support Red Flag training operations at Nellis. The two-story addition is oriented on the southwest elevation of the existing facility. The one and a half half-story spacious lobby doubles as the transition point between secure and unsecure spaces and serves the entire building, becoming the focal point of the new combined facility. Due to the secure nature of the addition, windows are not permitted in most areas, so the project maximizes window area in the lobby. The entry doors are inset to provide sun protection and the adjacent curtain wall is protected by horizontal sunshades due to the solar orientation. The predominant exterior material is split-face C CMU with accents of honed face CMU, while the metal panel and curtain wall highlights the building entry. All exterior materials comply with the material and color requirements of the installation facility standards and complement the installation's aesthetic. The use of CMU adds value to the project as it serves a variety of purposes such as low maintenance aesthetic cladding, a resistant weather barrier, energy conscious mass wall, and stout perimeter structure. At the interior, steel joist framing supports the second floor and roof decks along with steel columns supporting the joists. This structural system provides a long service life while allowing maximum flexibility to reconfigure interior walls in the future. Congratulations to the Nellis Project Delivery Team. The second award is a Merit Award in the Facilities New Construction category. It is for the Consolidated Operations Building located at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. The project was designed by Jaeger Architecture. The architectural features of the new building highlight its mission and prominence on the flight line. The design balances the history of Whiteman with the new high-tech features of the next generation Air Force systems. In accordance with the Whiteman Installation Facilities Standards, the primary entrance was emphasized with full-height insulated metal panels and low-E glazing. This created a hierarchy which transitioned to the surrounding insulated concrete panels, then to similar panels that feature brick veneer. An energy-efficient enclosure was created that also exceeded the facility's physical protection requirements. The flight line side of the building utilizes a similar approach with metal panels and architectural glazing highlighting the entry. Brick veneer was designed to create a subtle B2 silhouette on the building facade. All Entrances include exterior metal canopies, enclosed vestibules, and recessed walk-off mats. Secondary entrances are recessed to provide shelter with less prominence. The mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems provide efficient and reliable support for the mission while complying with installation facility standards. Multiple chillers provide the required redundancy for the chilled water system which incorporate free cooling modes. The electrical system utilizes a generator and uninterruptible power supplies for 
critical loads. The configuration of the building focuses on the mission required functional arrangements and adjacencies. The site was confined by the flight line, roads, and existing buildings, so the focus was to carefully design the interior of the facility to meet the mission. Key driving factors were flight line views, secure working areas, assembly areas, and keeping squadrons together. Congratulations to the Whiteman Project Delivery Team. The final 2023 award winner is a citation award in the facility's new construction category. It is for the two-bay depot maintenance hangar located at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. The project was designed by Burns and McDonnell. The purpose of the Tinker Depot hangar is to provide corrosion control services for aircraft, confirming their safety and extending their service life. The objectives were to design a flexible and agile space to accommodate a future hangar expansion while confirming energy efficiency and compliance with corrosion control requirements. The design included a one-hour rated walkable ceiling separating the hangar bay from the mechanical platform above, intricate ductwork, equipment weaving on the mechanical platforms, and an equipment monorail system for servicing the equipment. The design of the hangar prioritizes flexibility and adaptability, ensuring that the hangar can serve various functions and meet the future needs of the missions it supports efficiently and cost-effectively. The hangar was designed to cover multiple missions such as general aircraft maintenance, fuel cell maintenance, and corrosion control. By accommodating various maintenance tasks, the hangar can adapt to different needs that may arise in the future without requiring any modifications to the facility. Regarding resiliency, the hangar's exterior appearance adheres to the Tinker IFS, setting the design standard for future buildings at the complex. This design approach allowed for uniformity and the ability to adapt to changing requirements including redundant systems and maintenance access, also enhanced the facility's resilience and readiness, allowing continuous operations during maintenance activities. Congratulations to the Tinker Project Delivery Team.